Hey everyone, welcome back to my second paranormal slash makeup talk video. So I debated on which story to tell today because like I said, I have like a fuckload of different stories. But I decided to do one that kind of caught me and my husband off guard. Um, so we've been in our house for about four or five years now. And when we first moved in, we didn't have any cats. We have two cats present day, but when we moved in, we didn't have any cats. Um, our house also is 100 years old as of this year, um, so it's bound to have some, you know, spirits hanging out or orbs hanging out. Um, so, <laughs> the one day I was in um, my living room and I got really excited because I thought I seen a cat and it was a calico cat that walked towards me onto my um into my living room and I was like oh, kitty and then as I like thought it and said it I was like we don't have any fucking cats so I told my husband about it and he's like that's kind of weird I was like yeah that's what I'm saying so, because I've never actually seen anything before. Normally, it's only caught on my camera or if I record things or, you know, pictures, whatever. So, later, um, my husband tells me that he's seen something too. And I can't remember what it was, but I remember he said that he's seen something. Sorry, babe. Um, so, he was kind of like, okay, that's kind of weird, whatever. Um, so some time passed, and at this time we still didn't have any cats, um, and I'm in the bathroom upstairs, and our bathroom, there are steps, like, right there. So, I'm getting ready in the bathroom, doing whatever the hell I was doing, probably doing makeup or some shit, and I see my husband walk by, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, he's upstairs, whatever. Um, about five... Maybe five to ten minutes later, not even, um, he actually comes up the steps and walks by. And I was like, hey, I was like, didn't you just, like, come up here and do whatever the hell you were doing? And he's like, no, I was downstairs. And I'm like, are you sure? Because I could have sworn I seen you walk by. And he's like, no. He's like, I've been downstairs. So, at this point, I get, like, that feeling. I don't know if you guys ever get these feelings when you see stuff or think that you've seen stuff. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. So, my theory, or guess, or whatever the hell, was that maybe whatever decided to come upstairs and walk by didn't want to scare me. You know, because, like I said, we had just moved in the house. Um, we didn't have any animals yet, because the animals are like, they become your family. They look after you, you know, they can sense things. And I was kind of grateful for that, because whatever it was, now, it f taking the form or shadow of what my man looks like was kind of weird, but I also appreciate it, because then I wasn't so scared, you know, because I just thought it was him. So, yeah, that's... That's another one of those weird-ass stories that happened while we've been living here. Um, like I said, pretty short and sweet for that one. I feel like there's more to it I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I- oh yeah, I remember actually, um, my husband telling me that he's seen a cat too in the house before we had cats. Which is really crazy because he believes it to a degree. Um... So he had seen something as well. He said it was while he's in the bathroom too. He was like, you know, I was in the bathroom and I thought I seen something go by, like an animal or something. Well, funny story. The guy that lived in this house before us was a hoarder. So I don't know if you guys know anything about hoarders, but you know, they have literally shit everywhere. And I mean fucking everywhere. So... It wouldn't surprise me if maybe when he was hoarding, if maybe there was a few animals or cats that got in the house that he kind of forgot about and they might have died. 
or they could just be passing through because when we moved in too, there was a bunch of strays that lived around our house. So, I mean, anything's really possible, you guys. Um, kind of caught me off guard when we first moved in, but actually after, you know, all these years of being here, I don't really think anything surprises me anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like I said, this one's a pretty short video, and I'm not even done with my makeup yet, guys. Like, the fuck? Um, but yeah, that was one of them. I can tell another one while, while we're on the topic. Um, another time, now I've never actually seen an orb in person. Most of the time, orbs, if I ever see them, it's in my camera or my phone or if I take pictures or video or whatever it is. And the one night, um, me and my man were talking, we were sitting on the couch and we were getting into some like deep conversation about, you know, orbs, spirits, you know, how stuff passes through, stuff hangs out, or, you know, whatever. And we are talking about it probably for like an hour or so. And the next thing I see, literally, I swear, I can't make this shit up. I see an orb go past him in the dining room. And I immediately told him, I was like, we need to stop talking about this. And he's like, how come? And I was like, well... I just seen an orb for the first time in my life with my very own eyes. Now that could be good, that could be bad, but either way I said let's just stop talking about it because it was late at night, I didn't want to stir anything up or cause any problems, so I didn't. I just let it go. But, you know, I didn't feel like it was a bad thing, but you just sometimes you just know when to stop talking about it. So, those are my experiences. I've seen a calico cat that never existed in my house, which was, I assume, a spirit calico cat. My husband also seen an animal while he was in the bathroom um, go by, and then something manifested into the shape of my husband to walk by the bathroom, and it actually wasn't him. So, if you think you're crazy, you're not. I promise. If you think that... Your mind plays tricks on you and shit doesn't exist. I'm telling you guys, stuff exists out there. Like I said in my last video, I want to know your stories. Tell me your stories. Tell me your experiences. Um, I want to know. Because I, I can only tell you how I feel about things. You know, or experiences I've had. I want to get to know your experiences. If you've had any. Or someone called you crazy because it actually wasn't. Because they don't believe in it. Which, like I said before, I don't give a shit if you believe in it or not. I do. Like I said, I've had experiences. I've had stuff come on camera. And, yeah. Weird ass shit, dude. That happens. So. That. Is it. For my story. For today. Um, if you want to know something or would like to comment an idea or, hell, ladies, if you see a makeup idea you want me to do, shout out at it and I can do it next time. If you have an idea of a color you want me to do on my eyes, let me know. I just went with a pinkish purple today, you know, kind of bright, funky, you know, feeling myself today. Um, but yeah, let me know. I've actually relatively enjoyed making these videos for you guys. I enjoy doing my makeup while talking to you guys. Um, I like, I don't know, I just really enjoy it. So, that is it for today. Sorry for the lengthy video, but you got to hear little snippets of more than just one story today. So, let me know what you think. Like, comment below, share, message me. Um, let me know your thoughts, and you guys have a beautiful day. Hold the door open for someone, smile, compliment someone, because let me tell you, complimenting someone can just make somebody's day, okay? I love you all. Mwah.